So here we go. We're fighting the Japanese through Indochina. We need to do a lot of damage right here. We need to be kind of make it a big deal because the Japanese are pushing forward in Siberian territory and the Germans are very close to taking Moscow. So yeah, here it is, all or nothing. Now luckily we do um, outweigh or, or outmatch the Siamese. They only have 10 divisions here. We have 24 and I'm sure we're probably fighting a little bit stronger than the Siamese. I'm hoping that we, we should be. At this point, we really should be, but um, but we'll see. Come on, you guys, I need you to get a, I need you to move a little bit quicker. Let's go this way now too. It's just Siam for the most part that we're fighting. I think a few Japanese troops probably. Ooh, we got pushed back, didn't we? Did we lose somebody? I don't think we lost anything. Okay, keep pushing forward. You got it. You got it. I'm a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have them on. Uh, too aggressive. There you go. Good. Land of Kuala Lumpur. Kind of worried about having them on aggressive. Although we still outnumber them by quite a large amount. Yeah, 26 to 13. I mean, I, I, I'm imagining the Japanese will be sending over more troops as we as we speak. 56 ships now. Good. Good. Continuing to pump out more ships. I like it. You want to try something? Let's try it. Let's push forward right here ah oh, crap another another common turn country capitulating there you go we got it we got it at this point I I think it might be a better idea well no cuz it might not be a good idea to put them all together cuz these guys at least have you know promotions and stuff like that skill different skill levels let's just let them do their thing Actually, you know what? If there is one division, can we... Because this is going to bother the crap out of me. Let's get the, the British out of here. Yeah, and I'm going to switch this to cautious. I know that we probably should be trying to rush for the Soviets' sake, but I don't want to just have this campaign end because I rushed in. Come on, Soviets. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, there's really nothing we can do. The Soviets are going to... I think the Soviets are going to capitulate no matter what here. Don't really think there's a difference that we can make. Don't be too cautious, though. I mean, I, I see I see certain provinces that we can push through. Now, another thing that I'm, I'm going to want to consider, especially as we go through this very long, narrow land, is a naval invasion to get back behind enemy lines. A naval invasion of Bangkok would be great. Nice. See, we got them, and let's, let's try to... Let's try to encircle. Actually, I see a route to encircle right now. Political correctness. All right, hold on. Indoctrination. More political power, and we're coming for that research slot, baby. We are coming for that research slot. Material designer, tank designer, chief of navy. This would be useful. Um, let's go naval experience. I'm hoping to kind of mess around with my naval templates a little bit more over the break. There we go. We get this, and we're going to encircle at least four. It depends on where they, they run to also. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, uh, they're escaping. That's fine. doesn't matter. You're dead. You are totally dead now. Well, you should be totally dead. There it is. Okay, so you're going to get overrun. I'm going to try to move up this way. They're freaking out. There we go. All right, let's try it again. Is that the same? Yeah, let's try it again. We actually might be able to just overrun all of the Siamese troops here. Maybe we might be able to just overrun all the divisions. If we're lucky. There we go. Alright guys, come on. Get o get over there. Nice. Okay, maybe we don't even need to do a na naval invasion because we can just push straight through. If we're lucky, we can just push straight through. 57 ships. We're not losing ships or anything like that. Hold on. Anything back at home? Yes, there is. Alright, so let's assign you here. 
I'm hoping that we can get... Ooh, Legionary Romania joins the Axis. Really hoping that we can get at least 24 of 24 by the time we reach, you know, mainland Japanese territory. Okay, so we're also going to go aggressive. We're going to move in aggressively. Let's switch the plan a little bit. We need to just press straight forward. National Spain is joining the Axis. Uh-oh. The Allies are screwed, I think. Well, the common turn, I'm sure the Allies are thinking the same thing. Yeah, the common turn is screwed. Look at the Soviet Union. What is Australia going to do? You know, like, what are they going to do right now? I guess we should just fill this whole thing out, huh? Artillery designer, infantry equipment designer, definitely. And then aircraft designer. No naval aircraft. Um, let's do, yeah, because I do a lot of fighters. So let's go with that there. All right, there we go. That's all I can do. Keep pushing forward. What is over here? There's really stuff over here? Are you kidding me? Who said? Who said you could have more divisions? Support equipment four. Should we go... No, we don't really need any of that. I don't think I'm going to need a navy as much as I maybe initially thought. I should probably go for decryption and encry encryption. We're slowly approaching 1943. Okay, we've got a victory here in nine days. Uh, what do you need more of? Oh, okay, good. Fall of Moscow. Yep, Soviets are going to capitulate. So it's going to be myself and British Raj. I'm hoping that the British Raj focus... Well, and they're not doing too well either. Look at that. Look, I've never seen the AI do that before. Just go straight in like that. Well, it's Australia. I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm going to keep on fighting. Oh, the Japanese have something here. I'm going to make my own. Oh, this is a new guy. Anyways. All right, well, let's try. Dang it. Come on, man. Let's try, and then whoever else pops up that's that's new, I'll, I'll send them over that way. The AI really likes to navally attack there, don't they? I mean, I, I could do naval invasion. I think that's going to be pretty complicated, though. I think that could complicate some things a little bit. Especially because I could be taking on the Japanese earlier than I would have wanted. There's only two provinces here and there, though. That's just kind of scary. We're coming over. We're actually not having the best of luck fighting through here. Why is that? Oh, we're doing okay. Oh, yeah, we got it now. Again, we're still only fighting Siam. We should win Siam at this point. We should be able to beat Siam. It's the Japanese that I'm more worried about. Ooh, this is a motorized division. So I'm not entirely sure how effective they're going to be fighting. What do they have? Decryption. Advantage. They've got air support, really. Enemy air superiority? I thought that was us. They have airplanes here? Yeah, look at that. We don't have... We're not doing that well. That's kind of interesting. Uh oh Oh, that's what happened. I was going to say, the game like froze for a second there. Oh, crap. Okay. That's scary because the Japanese might be sending their full force after us now. I mean, I don't know where else they'd send them at. Maybe to attack British Raj. Obviously, in this point, we will not be able to stop the Japanese if we have to fight their entire army. Definitely, definitely not. Okay, I'll fight one division. Motorized versus a cavalry. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You stay there. You wait right there, sir. Holy crap, we need to upgrade the crap out of this stuff. Get more support equipment. We definitely need more motorized. Probably losing planes, too. Yep, this is not good. The thing is, though, as Australia, I've been pretty effective. I've been pretty happy of how I've played this campaign. Uh, I, I did end up defeating the Dutch, and I did end up taking New Zealand. And uh, pushed back a German-Japan naval invasion. 
Okay, the fighter's gonna have to stop for a second. Engineering. We should also go encryption too. We need to get all this stuff. Unfulfilled import. So should we? Uh, oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's that is not good. Here, let's uh, let's close this and then. Well, we've already we have the surplus. Oh, whoa. Okay, there we go. I don't think we have the resources at the moment. We probably can't do like a closed economy or anything like that. Hmm. Yeah, this is worrying. This is a little troublesome. The Axis are doing really well right now. But the Axis usually never land a naval invasion on Great Britain, so that's good. Hmm. The problem is the USA would never join us. That's a big issue. That is kind of a big issue. Is there any air uh, ports around here? No? Yeah, there is. There technically is. Alright, I am going to do... We're going to do the naval invasion. There to probably Bangkok. Yeah, let's try that. We also are going to need the, obviously, naval superiority, so let's make sure that we do that too. Okay, so we're going to want there, there, and I guess there. We probably want a good amount of troops too in, uh, involved in that. Let's do, uh... Let's take away all these guys. There we go. Let's, let's just do like three. It's a little bit scary only sending three over here. I might send more though with time. Only fun war. F f uh, 41. Fun war. What was I trying to say there? Only 41 convoys available. There's also three Japanese divisions over here. Since the Japanese aren't doing anything, we should see the British, British Raj falling pretty quickly out of power. How long is this going to take? Not too long, so we should be able to see what the results of this naval invasion will bring to us. We're still pushing forward. My fear is naval invasions into our islands. That is my fear. I should have taken the marines. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm. Indoctrination? Come on. Let's. We're almost there. We don't even need all this political power anymore. Let me, uh... Let's see, we don't have any Marines over here. I'm gonna pull you guys back. Actually, I could just send the whole army over there once I create the front line. And then readjust all this stuff. I think that's that might be what I do. Um, hello? Are you doing this or what? Three divisions. Earth to three divisions. You uh, you should be doing this. What's going on? We don't have the convoys or what's happening? Because it's not even telling me that there's a problem at all. That's weird. Hey, we're still pushing forward, though. That's good. Uh, hello? What What is going on here? I can do another naval invasion. Here to, like... Let's try, like, here, too. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to switch it, though. You can only do one naval... No, you should be able to do two. You're, you're, you should be able to do two. Uh, okay. Well, there's clearly some confusion. I will figure it out over the break. 
So it's capitulated though. This isn't good. Hey, I'm still pushing forward here, so that's that's good. But uh, I don't really know what's gonna happen with the Japanese. I don't know how many troops they're gonna send over. A little bit worried about whatever's gonna happen here. But uh, we'll have to keep an eye on that. So the Soviets have capitulated. That's not good. That is really bad. Um, you know, we're gonna regroup, re re regroup over the break, and um, I'm gonna try to. Well, we'll, we'll for sure p push deeper into Siam Siamese territory. We'll probably be able to get to get to capitulate them at some point. The problem is I don't know what Japan is going to do about us, and that's that's my big fear. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.